Tesla's using Chinese AI instead of Grok. Elon launches a company called MacroHard, and your Tesla just got a smart new feature to save battery while parked. Let's unpack everything in today's update. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ken, reporting daily on everything Tesla and Elon Musk. If you want to stay ahead of the curve, make sure you stick around till the end. Let's dive in. Segment 1. Tesla's China AI Strategy First up, Tesla is making a bold move in China by integrating not Grok, but two locally developed AIs into their vehicles. These are DeepSeek and Dubao, both developed by Chinese companies to comply with local regulations. DeepSeek is more conversational, answering driver questions, giving weather updates, and even having small talk, similar to Grok. Dubao, on the other hand, is more practical. It handles navigation, music, air conditioning, and voice controls. Tesla is combining both to create a localized experience tailor-made for the Chinese market. Why not use Grok in China? It's all about regulations. Grok, developed in the US, doesn't fully comply with China's data laws. So Tesla partnered with companies like ByteDance, ensuring all data stays within China. These AIs run on ByteDance's Volcano Engine Cloud infrastructure. The big picture here? Tesla isn't just selling cars. They're mastering market-level adaptation. While most global automakers struggle with China's tech policies, Tesla is playing by local rules and winning. From an investor perspective, this shows just how agile Tesla can be. And as an owner, it raises an exciting question. Could we eventually see FSD running on local AI in different regions? Segment 2. Elon Musk's Macro Hard Next up, yes, you heard it right, Macro Hard. If you're thinking, wait, is that a parody of Microsoft? You're absolutely right. But behind the tongue-in-cheek name is a very real and very ambitious idea. Macro Hard is Elon's concept for an entirely AI-run software company. Imagine a Microsoft-like business, but powered end-to-end -end by AI agents. Everything from design to coding, testing to iteration, done entirely by AI. At the heart of this idea is Grok and a new AI supercomputer, Colossus 2. Elon envisions millions of GPUs powering thousands of AI agents. One writes code, another tests it, another checks UX all working in sync like a virtual development team. Now MacroHard hasn't released a product yet, but it's no joke. Elon has already filed the trademark as of August 2025, and he's publicly said Microsoft has no physical products, it can be 100% replicated by AI. This project isn't a meme, it's a blueprint for the next generation of software companies. From an investment lens, this is one to watch very closely. Segment 3, Tesla's new low power mode. Let's bring it back to something more practical for Tesla owners, low power mode, a new feature aimed at solving the dreaded phantom drain. You know that moment when you leave your Tesla parked at the airport for a few days and come back to find the battery unexpectedly low? This new mode addresses that exact problem. When low power mode is turned on, the car enters a sort of deep sleep. It disables features like sentry mode, summon standby, camp mode, cabin overheat protection, plug power, preconditioning, accessory power retention, basically everything that drains battery while the car is idle. However, Tesla designed this intelligently. If your car is plugged in, many features remain available, like camp mode or climate control. It's smart and shows Tesla is listening. In fact, this update was inspired by a Cybertruck owner who posted on X about excessive battery loss while parked. Elon responded and boom, a new feature is born. Setup is simple. You can toggle it in the charging menu inside the car or via the Tesla app. Perfect for long-term parking, road trips, or weekends when you won't be driving. It's not yet live on my Tesla, but I'm expecting it to roll out soon. These kinds of small but meaningful updates 
They're part of what makes owning a Tesla feel different from any other car. Strategic takeaways. So let's take a step back. What do these three updates tell us? Tesla isn't just evolving, it's strategically transforming. Here are the key takeaways. One, localization mastery. Tesla doesn't just copy paste tech globally, they customize, adapt, and optimize per market. Using DeepSeek and Dubao in China instead of Grok shows how seriously they're playing the long game. Two, the AI company shift with MacroHard, Tesla is signaling a shift from EV company to AI-driven innovation engine. They're not just using AI, they're building companies run by AI. Three, customer-led innovation. The new low-power mode wasn't born in a boardroom. It came from a customer tweet. Tesla's feedback loop is fast, transparent, and truly user-driven. This software-first mindset sets Tesla apart in the auto industry. So the real question is, is Tesla still just a car company? Or are we watching the emergence of a self-evolving AI platform? I'd argue it's the latter. And now is the time to pay close attention. What do you think about Tesla's latest moves? Let me know in the comments. I always love hearing your thoughts. If this video brought you value, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I share updates like this every single day and you won't want to miss what's next. And hey, if you're on X or Instagram, you can also find me there sharing Tesla news, insights, and updates. I'd love to connect with more Tesla fans around the world. And if you're planning a trip to Japan anytime soon, drop your questions in the comments. Happy to help however I can. Thanks for watching and let's keep enjoying the Tesla life together. See you in the next one.